How many of you have heard about the Grape protocol? Grape is a decentralized social networking protocol used to create, reward, and also secure any online community by harnessing the power of Solana blockchain. So by utilizing that, you can establish, incentivize, and also safeguard any online community at all. The foundation of their dynamic balance-based membership is like a system that is linking users' online profiles to distinctive cryptographic keys. Needless to say, the project is quite curious, that's why it immediately caught our attention. And despite the project may seem at the first glance somehow, well, undetermined, in fact, it's quite a complex initiative here. Today, we're going to dig into it and find out how Grape is going to achieve its goal. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this, uh, that this one and hit the bell icon notification, not miss our upcoming videos. There is so much to come next week. And now let's get right into the project already. Okay, so with endless information constantly surrounding us, it's becoming more and more difficult to actually filter it and find something useful, like dig into that. And especially for a person in cryptosphere, because we used to avoid scams all the time. Today, we'll show you an ambitious startup that tries to address this issue and change the current situation. Their goal is to be a higher quality information hub for Solano ecosystem and also place where people can learn, grow and expand the ecosystem together. By the way, this project has already achieved something significant in Solana sphere because it took a second place prize in Web3 uh, track Solana Hackathon last year. So what's this new fruit all about? Grape Network is a startup that provides tools for DeFi and NFT projects to build, manage and incentivize formalized communities known as DAO decentralized autonomous organizations. It was launched in September 2022 and the company is already beginning to position itself as an essential tool of the whole Solana network. Grape was founded by Dean Pappas, a blockchain developer who engaged multiple times in development of projects on Solana blockchain. The Grape network access tool allows the DAO to grant exclusive access to community membership based on their wallet balance. This is achieved by connecting social media accounts to their cryptographic keys. So with great access, DAOs can identify real contributors and delegate responsibilities to achieve organization goals. The great protocol is currently operating exclusively on Solana ecosystem. And I think there were no plans to expand so far, but who knows, maybe they will do that in the future. Okay, hold on a sec here. You may be guessing that we're telling you about some hidden chat rooms of crypto investors and traders that, you know, share some kind of secrets and collectively decide what to do with their money. And you sort of write, but at the same time, no. So for a regular user, it can be enormously difficult to find these sort of communities in the whole ocean of scam chats and telegram channels and so on. The people who are already invested and members of these secret communities tend to keep this valuable information to themselves actually. And this is the exact issue Great Protocol strives to address. Great Protocol's goals is to bring the best crypto talents together to form a strong community that focuses on constant ecosystem development, coordinating crypto enthusiasts of all different scales to help find these white whale projects and find their incomes is the actual goal of the community. And Great Protocol provides a set of tools tailored towards a building like token based communities on Solana, which enables communication to secure reward and also manage community membership through Discord. So you may wonder what distinctive features could this sort of Discord server aggregators have? What is so special about it and how it really helps you find those secret communities and lucrative opportunities? Let's take a closer look here. So here's the thing. Grape access is the essence of the dynamic balance based membership solutions provided by Grape is to connect members social accounts to unique crypto keys. Depending on wallet balance, a user can get access to certain rights and also permissions, as well as provide direct proof of allocated risk and investment for every crypto community member. 
Another thing here is multi-coin configurations. Grape Solutions provides full-fledged support of all tokens operating on Solana blockchain. So you can use your SPL tokens and token pale like SOL or SRM and even LP tokens to adjust permissions for a unique channel experience. Next thing here is moderator free membership adjustment. So the solution provided by Grape provides a set of tools that regulates user activity and gives different user roles without any interference of administration staff. Thus, reducing the load of admin groups helps to focus actually on attention on more important tasks. Next thing is community-driven DAO. And recently, DAOs become quite a convenient model to coordinate actions and decide the development plans. Many users think that it is the perfect structure to get revenue for groups. And members can outline community expansion plans, discuss like upcoming updates and decide on strategic moves. Another thing here is community preservation. All user data is securely stored in Solana blockchain, which includes account data and also permissions. And yes, you're right, Grape actually saves community and user statistics in the Solana blockchain directly, which prevents it from like being erased simply. Grape really is like nothing else, an original project operating on Solana blockchain. The company is working on releasing more tools for DAO, including an in-DAO payment system. We also can expect the release of intra-DAO payments, like a second version of their NFT marketplace, and also a proprietary ticketing model. Moreover, the project has a unique hierarchy of DAO in the system. So first is community, and Grape makes it as easy as possible for all community members to participate and all who want to get involved in the system. And second here is DAO, Guerrilla members active on Discourse and Discord and Realms, able to push, discuss, and vote on proposals. DAO Core is a subset of DAO members that are accountable and responsible for every DAO-related function category. That is sort of a operational team managing a plethora of tasks for the community. So it's like a bounty generation to DAO call minute keeping, and this role is eligible for community emissions. Another thing here is DAO Board, a five-member console focused on DAO-related tasks in like managing and communication. An additional responsibility of the DAO board is to organize the DAO core. This role is eligible for community emissions. Okay, I don't know how to put that, but where would we end up without an opportunity to actually earn money? In this regard, Grape is not an exception. I tell you one thing, and it is security. Grape Finance strives to make the community feel secure when utilizing the platform. First and foremost, the project has eradicated the user dependence on the project. Now they can confirm everything for themselves. Although they have to complete KYC with an independent verifier, uh, so far it is like that. Furthermore, they have done a comprehensive audit of the present contracts with no issues. They have designed control of the Grape token contract, making it impossible for like anyone or anything other than treasury contract to manufacture other grape. Speaking about contract renouncing, um, there is actually a mint function in the grape token contract by default. This can be a vulnerability as well if the deploy address is stolen or if a malicious team deploys these contracts. To remove this vulnerability, the ownership of the grape token contract can be renounced. So only the treasury contract can mint tokens, which is only possible through the program schedule. Speaking about staking, finally, and Grape Finance has a winery that allows users to stake their wine and earn the newly minted grape each epoch when grape is above 1.0.1 TWAP. Users can also stake grape in LP tokens in the wine yard to earn high daily yields of wine. So let's have a look at what's next on their roadmap. So it seems pretty fruitful so far, but what's the project future prospects? And according to the Grapes Roadmap, the first quarter is almost done. It featured grape staking, partnership, uh, wine governance, and raffle integration. The last one reminding step here is NFT drop for LPs and wine holders 
providing exclusive access to new developments. They are currently working on launching their protocol node system, which will lock up supply, build a treasury or protocol liquidity, and also let investors earn daily passive yields. In the future, we can expect UI and UX website changes and also chain link integrations and lending and borrowing features in the upcoming second quarter. Furthermore, auto repaying loans, leverage positions, and NFT based on P2E or play to earn game and staking will be also introduced, I think. In the third and the fourth quarter, um, there are many, many projects that Great Finance will be working on during that time, I expect that. And I think they will implement cross-chain Grape liquidity, integrate Grape to um, large lending platforms so far, and yield strategies, and also more and more partnerships. In addition, the project will create its mobile app, and we can also add card and NFC payments and payment rewards and a cashback system. So I think it is still in the dreams but maybe they will realize that this year or next one. So recent demands for the toolbox has exceeded all the expectations and taking into account that Grape raised a like a million and a $20,000 in a seed fund round, we can undoubtedly state that the solid growth will then obviously continue. Right now, the Grace management is looking at ways to double their team to meet demands and continue to grow in line with project roadmaps. Will Grape be as fruitful as it seems now? Only the time will show. All in all, the project is quite complicated and has a certain intrigue and it definitely deserves your attention. As for today, I've shown everything we wanted uh, above the project and thank you guys for watching this and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the like button and click the bell notification as well. So stay tuned and see you next time in the upcoming videos.